Hey, what's up guys? Yo, today I want to talk to you about developing a sense of purpose. This isn't a motivational thing. It's based on observations I've been making recently. And I kind of want to communicate that as I go about my day today. Yeah, man. So the reason why I want to talk about this is because, you see, the last two and a half months, I've made some major decisions to change certain things in my life. And what I knew, what I knew what you see immediately is like when you make these decisions, you know, like, first of all, energy goes through the roof. Uh, certain things become very clear as to whether they're good priorities or bad priorities. And the other thing is that, you know, the future becomes a little bit clearer because of like three components which I've kind of like figured out. The first one is the massive goal. Alright, so the massive goal for me recently was a decision I made like two and a half months ago where I said I'm gonna step out into fear like, because I believe fear lies on the other side of success and I said I'm gonna step out of that and basically try and do like some of the scariest things I've ever thought of doing. Yeah man, so first one is the major goal. And the major goal for me a couple months ago is like I said, I'm gonna step into fear. I'm gonna do pretty much everything that completely scares me. And this involved starting doing music. And I've learned so much from the process so quickly. Yeah man, I just came from printing my pictures. Okay, I'm on the road. But yeah, setting a major goal, it sets up like one thing immediately. Right away, you're forced to step into a place of uh, less comfort. You have to kind of think of ways to create things that you don't want. Sorry, you have to think of ways to create things that you normally wouldn't be thinking of. So you have to stretch your mind. So what ends up happening is that as soon as you make this major goal, you start moving into a new space mentally. It's challenging and it's a growth period. So for example, me doing this music thing, I had to learn how to memorize lyrics. I had to book studio time. I had to write these songs. I had to learn about my voice and harmonization. And then I had to kind of deal with psychological belief issues and you know tell myself, yo, this is gonna work or this can work or don't listen to the noise inside your head because most of the stuff inside your head I mean, like I said, with anxiety and panic, it's just based on stuff you think is gonna happen, but what has not actually happened. So most of the times we're limited by what we think is gonna happen and what hasn't happened. So when you set this massive goal and you're like, yo, I want so much change because I'm sort of tired of like where I'm right now, it sets into motion in your subconscious, like the sort of acknowledgement that you're ready to start. But there are a couple of things you have to do to make sure that you finish the goal, which is what I'll get into. Gonna have to go, down the road and keep this conversation going. All right, so business developer Peter Thiel asked a very important question. You know, what if you could achieve your 10 year goals in six months? And one of the best ways to do this is to like massively narrow like the gap between the goal you're trying to achieve and the time you want to achieve it. Because what tends to happen is when you compress the time, you force yourself to like 10x, 100x, even sometimes 1000x like your results. And I think what's like the coolest thing that happens when you compress this timeline is that you get this like this sense of purpose every single day. Now for me as a creative, sometimes, you know, it's like lots of hustling. You have to do photography, videography, search for clients, you know, look for things to do. And that may just be to survive. It may just be to have some money in your pocket. But when it comes to like having a purpose that drives you when you wake up, it's very different. And I find that when you set this massive goal of whatever it is you want to do, like so for me, example, so for example, for me, I said, okay, I want to like get my businesses to the next level and you know, go into music and, and see if that can become a platform for all my other intellectual property, right? So when I made that decision now, and I said, okay, well, I have to make a track within a week. 
and I made the track within a week and then I was like, no, you're gonna have to make an album within 90 days. Every single day, I wake up driven with a purpose to move forward, to do something. And what, what's also interesting is that every single thing I've been doing now ties into this major goal. If I'm making videos, my energy translates differently. If I'm thinking about wearing my clothes to advertise my brand, I can talk to people about my current goal, which is you know, releasing this track and then releasing the EP and then releasing the album. And then also know when I wake up, I have this different sense of purpose because every day I kind of know where I'm headed, you know, because the road is right down there. It's not like some ethereal goal where it's like, oh, you know, six to eight months from now, then maybe I'll release this. No, it's literally like, yo, you need to do this within the next like five days so that in the next 30 days you're doing this thing. And what this does is sets up a sense of urgency and it forces you to perform. And once you're forced to perform, this sets up like the last pillar of what I'll talk about today, which is action. And how when you take action, all these three things start to kind of intersect like Lego blocks, right? You set a major goal, you know, you compress the amount of time which forces you to take massive action and like shift your mind, shift your belief systems and shift your behaviors. And then the action part of it now is kind of like cement underneath that ensures that this massive change and this massive sense of purpose and, and the deadlines and everything all kind of fit together to kind of give you what you want. That is not good. Gotta get some gas. Wow, it's been an extremely long day. Just came off the road, it was raining, all kinds of crazy stuff. But to continue what I was talking about, you know, action is like ridiculously important. But let me talk to you while I walk the dog. Mm. so this is Benny but yeah man let's talk about action so what's interesting about action now is that the three things I spoke about today um, action is like the fuel that says to your subconscious which, which what I've perceived is that it says yo I'm committed to what I'm doing but when you take immediate action on a massive goal right what happens is that you kick into overdrive you step into this new mental paradigm like I said for me you know, like I've been to the studio a couple times recording multiple tracks. I've been practicing my lyrics and memorizing and I've been interacting with people in different ways and reaching out to brands and um, booking agents and all these kind of people. Things I would never be doing eight weeks ago. Because one thing is when you have inspiration, you can get motivated. But when you take action, you prove to yourself you're ready. So that's why somebody can watch a video on YouTube and be like, oh my God, it's so exciting. And then, you know, they wake up the next day and they don't want to go running. But if you say, hey, I'm motivated and you just go outside and walk, you've created this new neural pathway that says, yo, I'm committed to doing what I'm doing. So all these three things together create like a brand new reality. And um, what's amazing is that the more, the mad mosquitoes bite me, the more this massive action you take, it's the more powerful you feel, the more self-directed because you feel like hey i'm controlling my reality and then when things actually start happening when you make that song and people listen to it and say it's cool you're like my action created that result when i go to the studio and i say my goal is to make four tracks in two hours and i do it i feel accomplished because that's something i probably wouldn't have done before so you know kind of collating everything is is what's powerful is just like in the last eight weeks for me, that's exactly what's happened, you know? I decided to just have this massive goal. Yo, I'm gonna travel more. I'm gonna exercise more. I'm gonna do all these scary things I've never done. Then I said, I'm gonna do it immediately. So immediately as I had a song idea, I went to the studio. Immediately as I had some inspiration, I sent somebody. I talked to that person. I got advice from this person. I had this meeting. Immediately I booked the studio time. Immediately I moved into that space. And I was like, yo, I need to step my brand up. Immediately I got my hats. I got more birdie must gear and then you know every action i have now i just take sorry every thought i have i'm like yo action quick 
because with the shortened timeline what happens is that you narrow this window of time you take in this action and then what happens is you create this massive momentum so one of the most powerful things that happens with this quick and rapid action is momentum because here's what it does momentum proves to you that what you're doing is working and it keeps you motivated to continue instead of you having to motivate yourself and get all oh i need to get up and i need to do this it happens like very naturally so because when you start seeing results you know the human mind is like something is working so yeah man that's the vlog well i'm i'm gonna close this off but you know mosquitoes are biting me and i can't really focus here got a good walk benny yeah all right Yep. Yo, so that's basically it for my kind of little thought process today. Kind of tired, so gonna go to sleep. But if you found this vlog interesting, as usual, subscribe. Blah, 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 yakishmaki. More interesting stuff coming soon. Later.